Okay. Post-mortem time, that's probably an appropriate term here for Ohio State Penn State with Mo and Brandon. Uh, wow, two huge turnovers in the fourth quarter. And that's yeah. Mo. Two huge turnovers. Um, well, I mean, we knew that. We know Penn State's a good team. They're a good team, and um, they've played well all season. I expected them to come in and score a lot of points today, but you have to give credit to Ohio State's defense. But at the end of the day, uh, I felt like it was going to come down to turnovers. And so if, I, if Ohio State created turnovers or if Penn State created turnovers, then they did. And because of that, they won the game. Simple Frust as that. Frustration, the key word. We had a chance. We were standing – uh, maybe I'd say maybe 10 feet from where the Buckeye offense mm -hmm. meets when they come off the field. And this was maybe mid first quarter. Beanie comes off the field and, you know, this is still for children's ears. So we're not going to tell you exactly what he said, but it was full of profanity, full of anger. The guy was ticked off. And then you got Alex Boone and, and the, the coaching staff yelling at each other and throwing her helmets. And, and, and I mean, it, it it's like it's like a marriage. I mean, you got communication is the key, right? The, but and the thing about that, down. the reason why that's horrible is because it was in the first quarter. Yeah. If like you're yelling like that in the first yeah. quarter, absolutely, uh, that's not a good thing for that offense. And you look back to Michigan State, and everybody's like, "Oh, we got it back." So TP's doing his thing, Beanie's doing his thing, and then they come into this game, and we just forgot what the heck's going on here because nobody's getting yards. People are making mistakes. Offensive line looks back inconsistent like they did all season. Here's a stat for you. When's the last time an Ohio State football team has failed to score an offensive touchdown in their last eight quarters in the shoot? Is that right? My goodness. Did we score against Purdue? Did we score an offensive not, not touchdown? Offensive no, we touchdown. Did. did we no. score an offensive touchdown tonight? No. no. We did not. And when you have the returning offensive player of the year in your huddle, he has a reason to be frustrated. Yeah, you know, here's a guy sure. who's banged up. He's 80% maybe. And um, he's averaging one yard a carry at halftime. Yeah, so. that's the, that doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be, you know, coming into the season, they, the offensive line was supposed to be one of the best lines Ohio State has had. And obviously that's not true because you got one of the best, one of the best running backs in the country back there, and he has 11 yards at halftime. Come on, man. What, what, do, you, you, what do you think Terrell Pryor does with this? I mean, he's going to beat himself up, and we saw it in postgame. He was – I mean, he was head down moping like you'd expect from a young player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, I think he's a competitive enough kid where he yeah that he'll respond from that. You know what? When you're young, sometimes you you almost do that so that your peers will realize how important it was to you. Yeah, that's true. And maybe that's, that's the true. sense it is. He wants them to know that he feels he let them down, and it meant a lot to him. And obviously he takes the blame, and he's young, and obviously he'll show signs of immaturity, and hopefully he doesn't punch a locker and break his hand or anything or stupid, ridiculous. Yeah. But and, I've you know, I've heard that's been done. Yeah, in the post-game happened. interviews, the players realized that he gave it his all, mm -hmm. and he left everything he had out there on the field, and, think, and the ball just didn't fall his way. Well, I think you have to give. I mean. I think we all expected it to come sometime soon. I mean, he had, he's been playing great all season. He's been playing mature. Everybody's talking about how much composure he has. And uh, this was the game that it was going to be either he was going to barbecue or mildew. And oh that's how it was. He was going to barbecue. This Man. was the biggest game of his season. He didn't play against USC. This was the biggest game of his season. And he did. He, he played mediocre, so. which, which is – okay for a freshman quarterback but he'll continue to get better and once he gets when, better you know you don't have to we'll, worry barbecue or he'll do that's out of the mobile we'll, successful life playbook right there that's will perfect. this motivate him or haunt him oh i i think i think motivate i think i think you know like I anything say put in Tom life beckman back in oh come on now. holy gosh why not Man, are you serious no i mean he's a, no he's a listen to me guy. he's a listen good to player me here. listen to me here we got we have clearly probably not going to win the big 10 now Probably not going to win a Big Ten. And every every player that I talk to in the press conference says, oh, we're playing for our seniors. If we're playing for our seniors, and, and TP, who is a very good player, very good freshman quarterback, but if he's not going to bring anything more to the table than what Todd Beckman's bringing to the table, why are we why are we not playing our senior in Todd Beckman, who's already proven he can win oh. Big Ten games? Good argument, Mo. Not a chance. Nah. I don't believe it. How do, you, how do you throw a kid under the bus? You know, after, That's not throwing anybody After one under. fumble, you, put, you throw no, a kid no. under the bus. He's a freshman. What does that do for his confidence? He's a freshman. He's already feeling let down. Not a chance you start Todd Beckman the next game. Um, Why not? My, my dad always used to tell me, we'll take it back to this, back barbecue or mildew. You get back out there and, and being the best player on the field, 
you're going to have opportunity to win the game. You're going to have opportunity to lose the game. So by losing the game, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't, I don't know what you're know, saying. Man. Your best no player will win games for you <laughs> and lose games for you. Yeah. Because you are my best player, so you'll be an opportunity to do so. And Terrell must realize that, that he's probably our most talented person on the offense, mm -hmm. arguably besides Beanie Wells. Besides Beanie. And he's going to be in a position to win and lose games. And once he can have a short memory and realize that, I and that's be what, okay. And that's what you prepare him for for the rest of the season by putting in Todd Beckman because Terrell is going to have three years to play on his own. Nobody else is going to touch him. I'll Put Ty weather. Beckman that in. That sounds so fair weather, man. Put Ty Beckman in the game. He's I'm, a captain. I'm going to tell Terrell he's a senior. you said that. Oh, I like Terrell. I think he's a great player. <laughs> a I think he's going to be a yeah, very good, good I think he's going to be a very five. good player. He's, he can catch but you, But you have a captain, senior, <laughs> that's on the bench right now that is play, could play equal to the amount of – how Terrell Pryor is playing Sounds right like now. Right. So throw no away. I say play right. back in. I'm going to make one final point it. here. We, it was a tough night last night, so we'll, we'll leave you with one motive for volatility here. Uh, it was a scarlet fever last night. It you was. know, Mo and Brandon have been talking all week. Red night special. Yeah. Red night we special. We own the night, all right. Let's take a look at what we wore tonight. Now, Brandon, nice. Uh, that's a yeah. nice scarlet that's looking right. shirt. Right. That's right. there. So I, of course, went with the sweater. Obviously. Um, traditional. Let's check out Mo's I got gray outfit. on. Hold on. I got gray on. No, it, it wasn't got... a gray out. It was a I got... scarlet oh, fever right. that right. you helped promote, and you didn't, you're didn't. you not wearing it. I see it. a lot of pink. What are you doing? Is this real? Jeez, Kanye. Is that right? Jeez. What are you doing, Are you Kanye? color? I'm so self-conscious. How could a man <laughs> promote the scarlet out and not wear it his own self? You know what? Um, I am ashamed. My blood is red, baby. So, <laughs> so you bled yeah, all night? So I bled all <laughs> night. Scarlet fever. Well, unfortunately. Red night special. Yeah. The night owns us.